Amen. Amen. God bless you today. How great is our God. Amen. Turn with me to Genesis chapter 29. Amen. Genesis chapter 29, verse 15. As you're looking for that, amen. We want to continue in our journey. Amen. As we continue to look at this series of messages, keeping hope alive. Amen. Keeping hope alive. Many have given up on the idea of hope in their lives, that there is possibilities awaiting them on the other side of today. Amen. But I stand to declare that God still is in the blessing business. Amen. God is still fulfilling dreams. Amen. God is still establishing hope in our hearts. Amen. And so there in Genesis chapter 29, beginning at verse 15, there we find these words as the Spirit of the Lord dictates. He shares this with us. Then Laban said to Jacob, because you are my relative, should you therefore serve me for nothing? Tell me, what should your wages be? Now Laban had two daughters. The name of the elder was Leah, and the name of the younger was Rachel. Leah's eyes were delicate, but Rachel was beautiful of form and appearance. Now Jacob loved Rachel. I guess it was love at first sight. Yeah, all right. So he said, I will serve you seven years for Rachel, your daughter. And Laban said, it is better that I give her to you than I give her to another man. Stay with me. So Jacob served seven years for Rachel. Yes, yes. And they seemed only as a few days to him because of the love he had for her. Yes. Then Jacob said to Laban, Give me my wife. Yes. For my days are fulfilled that I may go into her. And Laban gathered together all the men of the place and made a feast. Now it came to pass in the evening that he took Leah, his daughter, and brought her to Jacob, and he went into her. And Laban gave his maid Zilpah to his daughter Leah as a maid. Yeah. So it came to pass in the morning that behold, it was Leah. Yes. And he said to Laban, what is this you have done to me? Yes. Was it not Rachel that I served you? Why then have you deceived me? Yes. And Laban said, it must not be done so in our country to give the younger before the firstborn. Yes. Fulfill her week and we will give you this one also for the service which you will serve with me still another seven Amen. years. Amen. Then Jacob did not did so and fulfilled her week. So he gave him his daughter Rachel as wife also. And Laban gave his maid Bilhah to his daughter Rachel as a maid. Then Jacob also went to went into Rachel, and he also loved Rachel more than Leah. Yeah. And he served with Laban still another seven years. Mm -hmm. I want to share with you this morning how to keep hope in the face of disappointments. Amen. <laughs> Life is full of disappointments. Yes. Yeah. Amen. You don't have to go very far to figure that one out. Uh, we can look even 
introspectively at our own lives and we discover that life is full of disappointments. When we look around, we look and we see individuals who are passed over for the promotion. Yes, yes. They had worked hard for. Yes. Look in the envelope at the beginning of a new year and the raise wasn't as big as we thought it would be. All right. Disappointment. We get the call late at night. Loss of a loved one. Yes. Unexpectedly. Disappointment. Car was totaled out beyond repair. And we had just gotten it. Disappointment. Having to abruptly move out of your place. Disappointment. William Brothers put it like this in that song they wrote some years ago, Heartaches. I've had my shares of heartaches, yes. but I'm still here. Yes. Trouble. I've seen my share of troubles, but I'm still here. Yes. Bruises. I've taken my loss and bruises, but I'm still here. Loneliness, I've had my share of loneliness, but I'm still here. Through it all, I've made it. Through another day's journey, God kept me here. I've made it through another day's journey. And, and he would go on to talk about how he was lied on, had burdens, dark days, and yes, disappointments. Had so many disappointments. But I'm still here. My brothers and sisters, I, I want to share with you this morning how to keep hope in the face of life's disappointments. Today, we want to zero in on Jacob. Look at the life of Jacob here for a moment. And, and, and I want you to see here, uh, Jacob had to deal with what we're talking about today. <laughs> yes, uh, he had some disappointments along life's journey. Yes, uh, not only did he have some disappointments, but he gave some disappointments. Yes. <laughs> yes, if you look at his life, Jacob was a rascal. Yes. Yeah. Jacob uh, did some stuff. Yes. Yeah, he did some dirt. Yes. Mama helped him do some dirt. All right, now. Yes, uh, Jacob was something else. Uh, but he met his match what? in the 29th chapter of Genesis. Amen. He ran into an uncle of his mm. uh, named Levi. What? And, uh, and I, I want to share with you today how Jacob maintained and kept his hope in the midst and the face of disappointments in his life. Yes. Yeah. And whenever we talk about keeping something, there is the assumption uh, that you've had it already. Yes. Yes, in order for you to, to keep or to hold on to it, you've got to have it in the first place. Yes. And so the assumption in today's message is that you already have hope. Yes. Can I get a witness? Yes. 
So as we look at Jacob's life, uh, Jacob had some hope in his life. Yes. Jacob was on the run because he saw his brother was out to get him what? Uh, for the deeds that he had done. Yes. Yes, yeah, stole his birthright. Yes. Yes. Uh, and he dressed up in costume, if you will, and, and, and he was smooth skinned, whereas his brother was hairy, had yes. hair all over his arms and everywhere. And his father was losing his sight. Yes. Dressed up uh, as if he was uh, Esau. And he did the duties and tasks that normally Esau would handle. Yes, had his mama make him a dish. What? Mama? Yes, and he came and he served it to his daddy. Yes. And his daddy was there to bless uh, the older boy, but... Esau, but Jacob had come in Esau's place. Yes. There he was. Mm. And he had stolen the birthright. By the time that Esau had figured it out and he had came in uh, as he would normally do, it was too late. Too late. Esau wanted to do some harm to, to Jacob. Yes. Yes. And, uh, Jacob uh, had to pack up quickly <laughs> yeah. and get out of town. <laughs> yes, yes uh, he had the birthright, but he was on the move. Yeah. Yes, there was somebody who was hot on his trail looking uh, for him. Yes, but but when he arrived, yes, he came to the land of the people of the East. Yes, uh, he had looked up and he saw in the field. He saw the flocks lying in it. He saw what was there in the land. But at some point, he looked over and he saw Rachel. Yes. And his life lit up with hope. Yes. That he would no longer be a loner. Yes. On the run. Yes. But that he could become. A family man. Yes. That was his hope, was that he could become settled down, domesticated. Yes. And, uh, his eyes began to brighten, began to sparkle with, with hope and a glimmer of that. He did not go far in his life in terms of distance between his hope and his dreams mm. and his disillusionment. Mm. This is important. I want you to take this home with you today. He did not allow a great deal of distance to come between his hope and his dreams and his disillusionment. This is important for us that we are to maintain and keep our hope in the face of disappointments. Is that we don't allow too much space to get between us and God. Yes. While we're going through what we're going through. Jacob's life could have had a much different ending had he cast aside his hope? Mm -hmm. Had he given up and thrown in the towel, mm -hmm. he could have had a very different ending on his circumstances. Yes. As we look at, as we look at Jacob's life, let, let me show you the first thing in his life. He was disappointed by who he had received. He had made this deal with Laban uh, to get Rachel as his bride. Yes. They shook on it. Yes. They agreed to it. The deal was done. All right. And, 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 and because the deal was set in stone, 
So he thought. Yes. Uh, anticipation began to build up in his mind. Yes. You look at verse 21. Then Jacob said to Laban, Give me my wife. Yes. For my days are fulfilled that I may go into her. He had worked seven years yes. for Rachel. Yes. Did whatever it was that he was asked to do. Yes. And the Bible says that it seemed as no time. All right. In his eyes, because he anticipated that he would one day be granted a wife. Yes. Yes. Uh, so sun up to sundown. Yes, he was there. Yes. Yes. Uh, it, it may have caused him to sweat, but he was there. Yes. yes, no No matter how long the day, uh, yes, Jacob continued to work for his own. Yes. Yes, uh, and, and, and with this anticipation that was, was, was welling up on the inside of him, mm -hmm. yes, he did not wait for uh, his bride to be brought to him. All right. No, no, it's right there All in the right. text. Yes, he said, give me my wife. Yes. Yes, he went to get her. Yes, uh, uh, he, 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 he was perhaps marking off the days on the calendar. Okay. Yes, uh, and when finally the time had come, he had gone to him uh, and he said, give her to me. Yes. Bring her here. Yes. Yes, uh, and and, and, and then Laban had brought somebody to him. Verse 22, here comes the disappointment. And Laban gathered together all the men of the place and made a feast. Yes, a feast. He made celebration, you know, as if he was doing what he had promised to do. All right. Yes, uh, got everybody together and, and had a party. What? Yes, uh, and, 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 so, and so after the reception had ended. Uh, yes, uh, after the music had died down, uh, yes, uh, 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 Jacob would then take his bride, uh, yes, whom he thought was Rachel. Yes. Yes, uh, so excited to be married, uh, yes, uh, that, that he didn't even realize he did not lift the veil. Uh, he did not see her in the light. Uh, yes. Uh, and, 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 and until the next morning. Oh, yes. Didn't stop to look at what he had. Yes. Uh, and have you ever have you ever been in the store? Saw what you wanted? Grabbed it off the shelf? Ran to the cashier, yes. gave them your money, and ran home only to discover that it wasn't the item that you thought you had bought. Yes. It was morning before he realized that it was Leah who he had and not Rachel. Jacob had learned how to hustle. Yes. But that day he had learned that he had been hustling. Yes. Before Christmas time, we find ourselves dealing with long lives, mm -hmm. filled with people who have anticipation. Yes. What do I get my wife? Mm -hmm. What do I get the kids? Yes. What do I get for the parents? Yes. Yeah, just Long lines everywhere. We're not that far removed from Christmas that we done forgot, have we? Yes, parking lots are, are full of people. Uh, can't hardly get in to, to get a pair of socks uh, yes. because there are long lines of people who are in anticipation of, of trying to get gifts and things uh, have filled the place up. Yes. Then after Christmas, we find long lines Filled with people who have disappointments. Yes. Bringing stuff back. Yes. Wrong size. Yes. Wrong color. Yes. Not my style. 
All kind of individuals saying, can you exchange this? Can you give me something else? Can you give me my money back? <laughs> Just lines that are full of disappointed individuals. That was Jacob on that day. Jacob was disappointed. Yes. And he didn't waste no time making his disappointments known to labor. He right. comes to labor. And I, I can see him in my sanctified imagination. I can see him just running up to labor. And he, he asks him this question. What is this you have done to me? Yes. He says, I know seven years have gone by, but I ain't lost my mind in those seven years. I, I, I know what agreement we had. And he, he runs to him and he says, what have you done to me? Yes. Then he asks him another series of questions. He says, was it not for Rachel that I served you? Was it not for her that I got up morning after morning and, and I worked? Yeah. I fed your livestock. I cleaned up after them. Was it not for Rachel? Yes. Then he got one last question. That he wants to ask him. Says why then. Have you deceived me. Mm -hmm. My brothers and sisters life. Will sometimes leave us feeling. Deceived. Yes. I know they had it all on the package. And all on the box. And the advertising said. That it does one thing. But when you got it out, plugged it up, yes. just didn't do what they said it would do. Yes. Life is full of disappointments and yes. deception, mm -hmm. false advertising. Yes. Uh, when I was in school uh, studying economics and all of that kind of thing, one of the things you learn about stores and marketing and all of that is that there is something called bait and switch. Yes. There's that which they advertise on television uh, to get your attention and get you into the stores. Uh, but then there's that which you find on the shelves once you get there. My brothers and sisters, I know that the boss promised us that, that after a year that we would be promoted to supervise. I, I know that, 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 that the individual who rented us the house said that it was leased to, to buy, a, leased to own, and that they would give us the first right of refusal that we could buy the property. But, but then when the time had come, uh, they snatched the rug out from under us. My brothers and sisters, sometimes in life, we find ourselves being disappointed and feeling like we've been deceived. Yes. He was offered this deal. Jacob didn't, Jacob didn't even try to hustle Leah. <laughs> yes, he, he, he just came in uh, and uh, he was going to, to help Laban and he was willing to help. It was Laban who had, had said in verse 15, uh, because you are my relative, uh, should you therefore serve me for nothing? Yes, uh, it was Laban who followed up with this question. Tell me, what should your wages be? Yes. Yes, he, he, didn't, he didn't ask uh, for anything initially. Yes, but, but since you offer it. All right. Yes, I, I did happen to see uh, that you have a daughter yes. by the name of Rachel. Yes. Yes. Uh, and, and, and so he felt uh, very much deceived. Yes. Yes. Uh, not, not only did he feel deceived because he didn't uh, make the initial offer, but he also felt deceived because Laban knew his own intentions when he had made the deal with Jacob in the first place. Yes. Yes. Uh, in verse 26, Laban gave this as the reason why he would not fulfill his promise 
uh, to Jacob, he said, it, it must not be done so in our country. Yes. To give the younger before the firstborn. Right. Now, now I, I wasn't there. <laughs> but, but, but I do have enough sense to realize this much. That these sisters did not suddenly mysteriously swap birth order. <laughs> yes, uh, Leah was always the older sister. Yes. And Rachel was always the younger. Yes. yes uh, even when he had made the deal in the first place. Yes. And, and so that leads me to believe and to understand that, that, that Laban uh, had, had, had this deception in his heart when he had struck the deal yes. with him uh, at the outset. Yes. Yes, he would, he would allow him to, to work. He would allow him to labor and to do all of these tasks. Uh, yes, he, he would allow him. Uh, yes, uh, and, and then uh, after seven long years had gone by, yes. then he would break the news to him uh, about how he could not allow the younger to be married before the elder. Yes. Jacob had good reason to feel deceived. Yes. However, just because he had good reason to feel deceived mm. does not mean he needed to get stuck there. <laughs> yeah. I, want you to, I want you to catch this because this plays an important part in your life and in my life. Every single day of our lives, when we find ourselves facing disappointment in our lives, it all depends on how the next chapter will begin and how the book ends on how we react after that. Yes. When a boxer is in the ring and he takes a jab, he takes that jab and it knocks him down, he stumbles. What is most important is not that he lost some points or the other boxer gained some points. What is most important after he stumbles, after he falls down on the back, is how quickly he gets back up. Yes. My brothers and sisters, what's most important in our lives when we find ourselves facing disappointments in life, what, what's most important is how quickly can we regather ourselves? How quickly can we recover and get back up? Yes. Yes. Uh, that, that, that's no need for us to, to wallow in the mud. Yes. There's no need for us to stay where we are. Yes. Uh, if we lay on that mat long enough, yes, the referee might get the count of 10 and the fight is over. But if you can get back up quick enough, yes. if you can regain your balance fast yes. enough, yes, you can remain in the fight. You can continue to go on to win the fight if you would only but get back up. Yes. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Sometimes we find ourselves in the in the face of failure. Yes, because we refuse to get up after we've been knocked down. We refuse uh, to get back in the fight uh, after we done take a left hook. Yes. <coughs> Just because he had good reason to feel the sea, yes, does not mean he needed to get stuck there. Yes. How often do we find ourselves stuck in our own situation? Yes. We just take inventory on our own lives. How often find ourselves stuck in our own disappointments? Stuck in our feelings? Stuck in our pain? Stuck in our betrayals? Yeah. If we want to keep dreaming, we must keep moving. Yes. Keep alive in our hearts. Hope. Yes. If you want to get to the next level. Yes. Don't let nobody tell you that you can't. Don't let nobody tell you that because of who your daddy is. Yes. 
Don't let nobody tell you because of the color of your skin. Don't let nobody tell you because of what school you went to. Yes. That you can't do this or that. My brothers and sisters, you got to keep moving. Yes. If you want to keep hope alive. Yes. That's what we learned from Jacob. Yes. yes uh, and after he had been to see, he kept moving. Yes. If we really want to attain what we have been hoping for, if we must let go of our right to be mad. Yes. And certainly Jacob had a right to be mad. Yes, we don't have to keep on playing that same somebody done somebody wrong song. Mm. Yes, we can get up and change the LP. Yes. And if that's going too far back for you, you can switch the CD. All right. Yes, I, if you still can't get with me, yes, I, you can select a new song on your iPad. Yes. Or on your iPod. Or on your iPhone. Yes, you don't have to stay there. Yes, listening to the same tune. Yes, you can get up from there. Shake off, uh, yes, your madness. Uh, shake off your disappointments. Uh, shake off your deception. Uh, shake it off. Yes. Get on up. Yes. Yes. See, what, what made the difference in Jacob's life Yes, uh, was that he was determined. Yes. In spite of his disappointments and his deception, uh, he was determined. Yes. Yes, uh, because life will do you that way, you know. Yes. Yes, uh, we'll be disappointed by what we receive. Mm -hmm. We'll be deceived by the one whom we trust. Yes. But we always have this third option, and that is that we can be determined uh, by hope. Yes. yes uh, we look at verse 27. Yes. Uh, fulfill her week, and we will give you this one also for the service which you will serve with me still another seven years. Now, many of us would have stood our ground. Got any witness? Yes, yes. Many of us would have stood there in debate and argument, mm -hmm. saying, no, I'm not giving you another seven years. I already worked my seven years. Give me what's mine. Yes, many of us uh, would have stood there and engaged uh, in endless debate for hours on end, demanding that he produce, that he would give us what is rightfully agreed upon. But, but he didn't do that. Jacob moved from being deceived to being determined. Just that quickly, he Change from being a victim to being a victor. But so many times, uh, some of our folk get, get bogged down in, in what used to be, and bogged down in our hurts and our oppression, bogged down uh, in how our folk have mistreated our foreparents, done us wrong, uh, and then down through the years continue to, to oppress and to deny. And sometimes we get bowed down in that, that we are never able to move forward. Into what God has in our destiny. You move from being deceived to being determined. You may have, you may have got me this time. You may have hustled me here, but but you can't hustle me on tomorrow. Yes, uh, the best thing that we can learn from history is that we ought not allow it to repeat itself. Yes, uh, not that we would get bogged down in history until we cling to it like a religion, uh, but that we won't allow folk to do it the same way on tomorrow. That's the best we can do with history. Yes, we can't rewrite history. We can't change history, but we can avow ourselves that we won't allow history to repeat itself. Yes. 
So, and so he moved on from his hurts and his disappointments. Uh, yes, uh, and, and, and now he moves. Verse 28, then Jacob did so and fulfilled her week. Yes, in spite of being lied to, he kept hope alive. Yes. We don't have to live in our deceived state. We can move into our determined states this morning. Yes, uh, Jacob had a determined heart. He still had a dream of Rachel. Yes. Jacob had a determined mind. Jacob elevated his thoughts above his disappointments. Mm -hmm. Jacob had determined plans and so he kept on working another seven years. Yes. Yes. Uh, and, and, and I like to think that while Jacob was working the second seven, yes, he had in his mind the vision that had, had captured his thoughts in the first seven. Yes, uh, you know what you remember what he said about the first seven that it was as a short period of time uh, because of the hope that he had. Yes, yes uh, and, and so he continued to, to, to work uh, because there was hope that was in front of him. Uh, and if you and I refuse to give up on our dreams, uh, if you and I refuse uh, to throw hope in the trash, uh, if you and I refuse uh, to say that my yesterday don't have to determine and dictate my tomorrow, if we would get up from our disappointments, uh, I want you to know that there can be a brighter tomorrow. Yes. Mm. I'm going to sit down now. But let me tell you how Jacob's story turned out for him. Because he had hope in his heart. Yes. So he, at the end of verse 28, so he gave him his daughter Rachel. Yes. As wife also. My brothers and sisters, he got what he was working for. Yes. In the end. Yes. And I want you to know this. As young people and older alike. That if we would be faithful to God and our commitment to Him, God would demonstrate His faithfulness in our own lives. Amen. Yes, yes. Older people said it like this Hold on to God's unchanging hand. Yes. They would also go on to say, He may not come when you want Him. But he's always on time. Yes. Late Dr. C.A.W. Clark used to always say, I want to add this. Not only does he come on time, but he'll also show up in time. Yes. Yes. Uh, when we're about to go down for the count, reference at nine, God will show up. Yes. In time. Yes. Yes. Uh, when we're about to drown, take our last breath. Mm -hmm. God will show up in time. Yes. Yes. My brothers and sisters, what I'm getting at is that we got to have deep down in our hearts, in our mind, in our soul, we have to find a level of determination. Yes, nobody can define you. Nobody can define your outcome in life. That's between you and God. Yes. Yes, nobody, that king used to say, nobody can put their foot on your back unless you bow down in the first place. Yes. 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 Right. We've got to rise up yes. with dedication and determination in our lives. We've got to rise up, stand tall with our heads hung high, not walking around like we're somebody's victim, but walking around knowing that we're children of the king. Yes. 
We are children of the Most High God. Yes, I, and whatever God's got for you, I want you to know this, that it's yours. Yes. What God's got for me, it's mine. Yes. Yes, I, I, I don't have to hate on you. I don't have to be jealous of what God does in your life. I, I don't have to worry about how God is blessing you and raising you up. I don't have to worry about if folk are giving you pats on the back and folk are talking good about you. All I have to do is find the determination in my own life. Yes. Yes, I, and it won't be long before somebody will pat me on the back. Somebody will give me an attaboy. Yes, I, just do what you want to do. Yes. Somebody said it like this many years ago. If you want, if you want to uh, put a slap in the face of your enemy, yes, I, if you want to prove folk wrong uh, who are talking about you and putting you down, Yes, uh, you, you show them by your success. You show them uh, by you keeping hope. Uh, you show them uh, by an accomplished life. You show them uh, by continuing uh, yes, to follow your dreams. Yes. yes. When they see you yes, continuing uh, to smile yes. when you all be frowning, uh, when they see you Yes, with joy in your life. Uh, yes, when they've done everything they can to make you miserable. When they see you, yes, walking tall in the room like you own the place but ain't got but $2 in your pocket. I, I want you to know that they don't realize uh, that, that nothing they can say, yes, uh, can defeat you. They, they will realize uh, that, that no matter how many tracks they put in front of you, that it won't defeat you. They will realize uh, that they Be determined. Yes. Yes. If if you want if you want to continue uh, to keep hope in the face of disappointment, yes, uh, we we gotta be determined because I, I want you to understand. We I can't stand here and promise you that you won't have another disappointment. I can't stand here and promise you that you won't have another tear. I can't stand here and promise you that you'll never fall again. I, I can't promise you that you'll never. Yes, he will. He'll see you through. Yes, yes. can I get another witness? Yes. 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 God is still good. Yes. 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 And when we talk in this language, yes, and I'm going to sit down now, but when we talk in this language, you know, talking about keeping hope, you know, we said that that suggests that you had hope. Yes, yes sir. And, and when you start talking about God is still good, yes, yes sir. And that suggests uh, that you knew that He was good yes. in the first place. Yes, yes, sir. And, and whenever you can say in your life, no matter what disappointments you face, no, no matter what hurdles you had to, to jump over, I, I want you to know when you can get to the place in your life where you can not only say God is good. But you can say God is still good. Yes, yes that's when you have matured. Yes. Let, let me see if I can help you understand what I'm talking about. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Jacob already knew that God was good. Yes. It was in his heritage. He, he, he had Abraham uh, in his lineage. Uh, he already knew that God was good. Yes, uh, and, 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 and he got the blessing, uh, yes, uh, that God had, had given him the, the birthrights. Uh, he, he knew that God was good, uh, yes, uh, he, 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 he wouldn't let go, uh, yes, uh, you remember Jacob's ladder, don't you? Yes, uh, he, he wouldn't let go uh, until the Lord blessed him, uh, yes, uh, and, 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 and so he knew that God was good, uh, yes, uh, but now the hustler has been hustled uh, yes. and, and he can now say God is still good. Yes. Yes. How, how many of us in our lives can, can say that, that God is still good? 
Because when I say that God is good, uh, I'm looking at past provisions. Uh, when I say God is good, uh, I'm looking at yesterday's healing. Uh, when I say God is good, uh, I'm looking at his past protection. Uh, when I say God is good, I'm looking at his, his presence in my past. Uh, yes, uh, but when I say God is still good, I'm saying that in spite of what I've been through, God is still good. In spite of what I'm currently going through, God is still good. In spite of, yes, of heartbreak, God is still good. In spite of broken relationship, God is still good. In spite of disobedient children, God is still good. In spite of bloody health, God is still good. In spite of our disappointments, God is still good. Is there anybody here that knows that God is still good? Dr. E. K. Bailey grew up in Oakland, went down to, to Texas, and he pastored there for many years until he died. Yes, uh, but the lady K. Bailey had contracted cancer. Yes, uh, and, 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 and he found himself at, at uh, Anderson, and, and he was there for treatment on several different occasions. But on this last occasion, he came back from Indianapolis after undergoing treatment, and he would then preach, uh, yes, in one of his first sermons that he would preach after having gone through those treatments would be, God is still good. Yes, yes uh, after the dryness in his throat uh, from the chemo, God is still good. Uh, he was walking with a walker, and he said, God is still good. Uh, and I stopped by here to tell you today that I've seen the lightning flashing. I've heard the thunder roar. Uh, I've felt sin breakers dashing, trying to conquer my soul. Yes. Yes. And God is still good. As we stand on our feet, the doors of the church are open. This is your opportunity to connect with God with arms wide open. God invites us
great message man. He doesn't say a hope, you know, uh, Jesse Jackson kept hope alive for the last 34 years. So ran an organization out of Chicago. And I don't know what kind of pimp he doing, but he got paid goods, you know. So, you know, but he said, keep hope alive and I want to get out with the big ships. You remember when he ran his campaign? Y'all remember that? When he ran for president? And you know, that's all he had. Oh. You know, he didn't have no money behind him, but the folks gave him money because he had hope. You know, so now we want to thank God for another week of blessing us and yes. keeping our family intact, our church family and our needed family. But also we want to thank God for giving us the opportunity to be a blessing to someone else. So now God loves a cheerful giver. So give according to how you've been blessed. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Let the church stay in the song. Oh. 